Hello, come on in. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to another show home tour. Today we are filming for Barrett. We are at Rose Meadow in Lawley in Telford and we are in the Kingsley, which Ooh. is a four bedroom home. We are in the hallway, as always. We are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as always, we start our tour in the hall. You come through um, a door that is two tone, so you've got the black and you've got the white on the internal. Security features with some um, privacy glass that you can also see through, actually. Hmm, handy. Um, you have got a security chain, uh, a latch, and a left box, which is a shiny silver. You come in immediately onto a mat uh, where you can wipe your feet. Now, a little bit of a word about these show homes. So in our Barrett series that we're filming here at Rose Meadow, they are kitted out with many of the upgrades. So do contact your sales team if you are interested to find out what is an upgrade and what is not, because there isn't stickers to tell us what is. No. So, um, so do make sure that you check. Right, what do you think about this hall? I love this little alcove, because that is the perfect yeah. space to have a shoe rack or a console Absolutely. table without taking any space at all. Yeah. There's even your internet point, you can see in the corner there. Uh, is that telephone? Uh, yeah, telephone. telephone, internet. There's a window as well. Yeah. <laughs> perfect. A little bit of a note on the switches. They are, I think, the upgraded ones yeah. because they've got the kind of two tone. Chrome um, white. Yeah. Perfect space. Where would you put your coats? Shall we have a look? See yes. If one of these doors might be coat storage. Not this one. This one is a toilet. Yeah. Do you recognize yeah. the tiles? I do. We've looked at those tiles. <laughs> we have. For our home renovation. We have. Um, so, yep, yeah, so we've got a nice little toy for toilet. Yeah. In here. There's a window. There is a window, plus a towel rail, plus yeah. the world's smallest sink. But it's actually a really good size. It is. That's a good size. But to be honest, if you weren't, let's see if it works. It works. So there's plenty of room to yeah. wash your hands in it. And what else do you need to do in this? You, you, don't. you don't. I mean, there's a nice mirror, mirror there again. Yeah. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you could put a cabinet. With you a could. Mirror on for extra storage. I mean, there is space for your uh, bleaches and toilet brushes. Because, okay, right, people, you don't, we don't often talk toilet brushes, do we? I mean, who do you know on a show home talk talks <laughs> about toilet brushes? We do. Yes. Um, there is space to put your toilet brushes. There is. You know, either side, because you have to think about these things. You do. And, you know, there's place to, to, to store some extra toilet rolls, because you might need it. You never know, do you? You never know. Right. We have a look right. Here? Mystery door number two is the cupboard. Perfect for ironing board, Hoover, mop yeah. and bucket, coats. Yeah, yeah, and you've got your fuse Shoes. box as well, nice and tidied away. Yeah, I've no, I think that's your internet point. I think. I think so too. And um, also, there is a plug, so you could put an additional appliance if you had one. We'll have a look what space there is in the kitchen, yeah. uh, and and if there is a utility or not, we don't know. Uh, by the way, we don't have the floor plans on us. We we like to look at these houses blind. We so do. We will put full floor plans and room dimensions at the end of the video. Let's go. Oh, oh no, but there's something else I want to show. Two tone. Yeah, but it's low, so it's like it's almost like a skirting yeah. paint job. So they've literally just masked it off and done a two tone. I think it works because it, it kind does. of makes the space feel taller. It does. I think. Okay. okay. Let's go right and into the living room. Ooh, ooh, I like this living room. Yes. I like the colour scale. I like how they've painted that one corner. So again, they've done lots of interesting paint work. Mm. So they've literally masked off and taped like a dark coloured spectrum. Yeah. Um, it really makes that corner recess and the rest of it pop. It does. So it gives depth to that one corner. Absolutely, and yeah. it's not a small living room. I mean, they've no. got some two seaters here. You probably could fit two three seaters, or a corner, or a nice corner actually. There's plugs behind there as well. There is. Um, I would imagine your media. Yeah, you've got a me full media plate behind here. So this is the the point that they would recommend. I think you have your TV on. Yeah. Uh, there's plugs either side of that as well. Yeah, there is. Um, Space you know, for another chair and the, then a nice window. The only thing that I think I would like in here... A bay window. A bay window. Mm. It would. It, it would. would really it would cement improve. the room. But have you yeah. seen the curtains? No. They're... <laughs> oh, okay. They're proper up to the ceiling curtains. Yes. As well. They use a mirror as well opposite the window, which bounces a lot of light back and forth. They do. Um, yeah. 
I quite like this room. Mm. There's, again, there's space for a coffee table. They also painted with this wallpaper. That wallpaper. looks paper. This oh, it's a wallpaper. wallpaper. Oh, yes, it is. I can see a, I can yeah. see a seam. That's wallpaper. The carpet is a nice colour because it's very neutral. Yeah, it's got a nice pile to it as well, yeah. underfoot. Yeah. Um, I'm not quite sure what style I would say. I don't think this is an era style. I think no. It's just... It's just nice. Yeah, and you have got space for another kind of club chair or something in the corner here. There's even... Actually, this area is quite nice for your kids to play, yeah. your children. Um, yeah, I'm impressed by the living room. Mm, right. Shall we go through? We should go through to... Ooh, oh, oh, hang on, one more thing. It's a turn staircase. Oh, yeah, we do like a turn staircase. Yeah. That goes all the way. Okay, right, before we do the kitchen, there is a mystery door. Oh, so you go into, like, a little foyer. That's interesting. Yeah, oh, it's a utility. Oh, okay. So Let's this is a utility. On. Right. So under the, under the turn of the stairs, you have got... Uh, I imagine that's a washer dryer. Yeah. And then, there is separate space, so you could put yeah. a washer dryer and have space, or you could have separates. Yeah. But it's nice, it's tucked out of the way, because you don't necessarily need a big utility no. just for washing. It's... Yeah, I've got a window. Um, yeah, I mean, I quite... Yeah, because they've got their laundry basket there, so that yeah. kind of makes sense to have that nook. There's lots, I mean, there's four plugs there. There is. So you could have phone charging station but it's strange a little bit because you've got kind of oh this is your kitchen door isn't it yes this one right and then we go into the kitchen diner so we've got a nice big dining table yeah. six seater it's carrying on the theme from the hallway as well on the wall yeah yeah I mean, and from the living room actually painted, it's the same color the oh they have to match it. there we okay. go and then we've got some nice french doors yes Go out onto the garden. Yeah, and I, we said this in the other show home about series we've done. This is an example of what you can do with the garden. They do yeah. come turfed. Because we are on a hill, this one is kind of steeped with different levels. Um, but it goes to show what you can do in a space like this. Yeah. And I think they've made the best use of the space. Again, we quite like the kind of rooftop views. It kind of makes you feel like you're kind of nestled in yeah. in, a, in a community, which is what yeah. this is really, isn't it? Yeah, Lawley Village is definitely known for being a, a community hub. Yeah. Right, let's take a look around Ooh. this kitchen. So you've got a sparkly Ooh. worktop. Now, this is the upgraded worktop. This is. Um, so do talk about with your sales advisor how much yeah. that costs. But it's quite a big... It's a big U-shape. Yeah. Oh. Okay, <laughs> so... Yeah. So Fridge and freezer, who are they by? AEG. AEG appliances, mm -hmm. and then a nice big pantry yeah. as well. Okay. Which you could have probably as a double fridge and double freezer. You'd have to speak to your sales team. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Main event of any kitchen nowadays, a wine cooler. A wine cooler. We all love a wine cooler. <laughs> so you've got cupboards. Cupboards, cupboards, cupboards. Corner, Corner cupboard. cupboard. Mm -hmm. And that's something you don't see very often now in new build homes, is the hob directly above the ovens. Yes. Yeah, because so that's tradition. Often, often they're in the in a unit. Yeah. But actually, yes. So you don't <laughs> see it very often, no, but we've actually it. seen it. Yeah. Let's look at these cupboards up here. So you've got, again, two wall cupboards. Yeah. Lots of plugs. Again, you can put your microwave somewhere. Yeah, I also like how the worktop goes up into the backsplash. Yeah, so you've got the um, the upsplashes and the, the backsplash. All that. So the it's AEG again, gas. Yes. What you've got underneath here um, is you've got... That's a grill. That would be a grill. That's also a grill. Right, I think these might be two ovens, but they're two smaller ovens, and they've both got grill. Yeah. So do check. You've got the extractor pan above. Oh, boiler there. Ideal. Ideal. And a cupboard. Yeah. How have we been in here? Ooh, a, a quite a big, deep cupboard. Quite big. You've got your gas hob isolation valve just there, and then all the way down. You do. Um, Dishwasher. Uh, yeah, AEG. AEG. Yeah, it's a nice size. Think. <laughs> Standard. So, obviously, because, because this is the upgraded worktop you it's integrated into the stainless steel sink which is really really nice with the tap and the nice view so this is where your cutlery drawer is yeah and you've got some panels, panels. which are really good for your plates and your pots and just another cupboard yeah uh, okay um now there is space in the corner i mean if you really want to you could probably purchase some additional cupboards and put them across the back there. or you could have shelves yeah um 
which would actually be quite nice. Like I said, I'm so impressed with all the amount of plugs. The amount of plugs and the amount of actual sense. storage yeah. as well. Okay, flooring, I think this is the Antico upgrade. Yeah. And there's so many different down lights. There's <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> hundreds. Very, it's very, very bright. So, they have a table. Um, I would say this is a really good space for a table. It is. Um, yeah, I like this space. Yeah. Oh, there's plenty of space as well for pet food. Pet food bin. If you have pets. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, let's continue upstairs. Yeah. Let's go up. Okay, so you've got the attorney staircase. Oh, they're on the centre, I think. The lights are oh, are they? Possibly. Or is there another switch? Ah. Ah. Right. So, shall we just go and start over here? Yes. <laughs> so, if you just look down, you have got a window. You do. Um, and a nice spiral yeah. staircase. It's, it's a staircase. Oh look, it's the poodle room. Ah! There's poodles! Oh look! <laughs> Why it's is so it cute. always, in every developer we've seen, the, like the third or small bedroom is where the designer tends to go a bit mad. Ah! <laughs> look! Oh, what is this? What is that? Uh, I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> right, obviously they've done this out as a kid's room. Yeah, with bunk beds. Um, Dare I say it these days, it's aimed at girls. Am I allowed? Yes. Okay, well, I think this is probably <laughs> aimed at girls. But any gender might like it. Yes. Um, you've got your little a la carte kitchen. Oh, look. Does this bring back memories? I had one. <gasps> you can cook your dinner and then you've got your little... You can stir... Oh, this is amazing. Microwave. Ding, ding. Oh, I love it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Right. Why would you have a shoe in your a la carte kitchen? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so they've got bunk beds in here. They do. They do have some built-in wardrobes. Yes. They do. Which is a good size for a kid's yeah. room, actually. So I think probably if you were having this room as a children's room, you could have it in this layout. Yeah. If you didn't want it as a children's room, it could also be a good office. And I think it could also be a good um, wardrobe room. Yeah. If you wanted wardrobe space. Okay, shall okay. we move on? Moving on. We'll just go and take an immediate right. Yeah. And we have a bedroom. This might be the master bedroom. It might be the master, just because it has the ensuite. Mm. Okay. So, blue, sophisticated, mm. calming. Um, yes. I would say this is quite an... Well decorated room. And then yeah. again, you've got the same curtain trick as downstairs. You do, so the curtains go all the way up to the ceiling and it's all the way across the yeah. whole wall. And you have your built in wardrobes. Yeah. Again, I do think these are the optional extras. So but they're double rail, they're height on one side. Yeah. So there's quite a lot of clothes storage. I would say this is a double bed. Yeah. And I'd say that, and if you, you probably could have wider if you didn't have. Bedside tables. If you lost one bedside table. Yeah. Because you'd still need the space to walk around here to get in. So you yeah. couldn't come too far over. So if you wanted a wider bed, lose one of the bedside, bedside tables. Bedside tables, shove everything down. Right. En suite. You've got a window. You do. You've got a toilet and you've got a sink. Or twice You've got the nice big wall mirror. Hello again. Hello. And you've got a large shower. You do. Which is the way into the shower. <laughs> <laughs> There's a handle. Do you know what? Normally they open that way and glide there, don't they? They do. This one opens. That way. That way. Okay. Yeah. Does anyone else store their towels in the shower? Um, and I don't know. And it's nice and bright because they've got a down like. glove and you have a towel. Well. You do. So, a very serviceable on the bathroom. Right, let's continue. Let's continue. Do, do, do. Oh, we've got a thermostat no, here well, by the door. I'm going to call it. I don't think this is the main bedroom. No. <laughs> I really don't. No. I think there's more to come. There is. Okay, there's so... Cupboard. Ooh, cupboard. A cupboard. Do you reckon there's a water tank thing? Oh, no, it's, it's just, just a plain a cupboard. storage cupboard. That's Obviously, nice. Obviously, it's um, housing some kind of workings. Yeah. I'm not sure which. But no, nice big storage yeah, cupboard. Yeah, that's nice storage. Okay. okay. The one thing with these barrett homes, as we've seen, is just there's a lot of storage. Yeah. Okay, okay, we now have... Family bathroom. So, we have big old bath. We do. Um, okay, so, again, there is no shower above. No. 
Um, I imagine that's an optional extra. You'd have to check with the sales team. I think if I was buying this house, I would have one. Yes. Put in. I like. I love the mirror. Yeah, the mirror is always fun. Um, and you've got the towel rail, toilet sink. You've got a window. You've got also an extractor as well. There is place to put a laundry basket if this is your family bathroom. Yeah. Um, or if they're obviously if you're using the ensuite and you don't have children, this could be a guest bathroom. Um, so let's go immediately in here. Ooh. Oh, this is a, this is the smallest bedroom. Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. This this is more of a study because you can see it's got the day bed in here. Yeah. If so, that's more as an office study. Yeah. So this could be an additional bed. Yeah. Probably more you'd use this as an office. Yeah. Or it could be a nursery, small children's room. Yeah. Um, it, is a, it is a perfect working from home space. This is how they've got this set up. I think most people would probably use it as that space. Yeah. Or potentially a wardrobe. You choose. <laughs> it's your you house. choose. It's your house. There is a radiator. Again, there's plenty of plugs. There is. Okay, right, let's moving go on. To what I'm imagining is the master bedroom. Uh, no, I think oh, the other okay. one is actually the master. Right, so that one was the master. Yeah, this is just the second bedroom. It's just another double bedroom. Okay. Yeah, I would say this is similar size to the master. To, yeah. Except it doesn't have the ensuite. suite. No. So, uh, you've got a double bed. Again, the same situation. If you wanted a wider bed, you'd probably have to lose one of the bedside yeah. tables. You've got your fitted wardrobes. Yeah, both sides, which is nice. Perfect. Um, and you have got space for TV. A glam station. Unit. Um, yeah, and it's very kind of calming and, and grey. It's very neutral. Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, perfect. Right. I think that's the last room, isn't it? That's all of the house. So shall we go and find our favourite room? Let's do. Okay, so we've chosen... The living room. Yeah, I think yeah. this is our favourite room in the house. It's a really nice, big room. Yeah, and I love the decoration in yeah, here. Yeah, the love decor. The, the colours and the paint, well, the yeah. wallpaper and things. It's, I think it's marvellous in it. There's lots of ideas that yes. you could take. So what do we think overall about the house? I have seen lots of different decorating tips. Yes. Like the low-level um, paint yeah, I like border that. mm. that's gone. I think it, it's, it's a fresher take on, I suppose, the more modern... Um, Instagrammable panelling yes. that's going on. It's something that's a bit more achievable yeah. on a lower budget. But still looks... But still looks unique. I yeah. mean, I haven't really seen that done. In any other house. So I think the show home designer has done a really good job. Yeah. Obviously, this is a four bed. Yeah. Um, and I think if you have got a family, probably with, with children, maybe two children, yeah. I think this house would be really, really good. The kitchen as well was... Sizable. Yeah, it's a nice it's big U bend. Yeah. U bend kitchen. Yeah, and you've got a really big hallway and the utility space was in a nice central position. Yeah. Um so again, I think with this bar at home here at Rose Meadow in Lawley, come and have a look. If this has kind of piqued your interest. Yeah. Book yourself this, in. Yeah, this is the sort of home that you need to come and have a look at to really get a feel of of what have of how you could use yeah, the space to definitely. see if it could work for you. We can only do so much yeah. <laughs> in showing you, but I really do think this is a sort of house that you need to come and see. Definitely. Okay, but if you do come and see, tell them that you've got the recommendation from us. Please. Please do. Also, if you do, if you are watching and you are a developer or you have a home that you want to uh, promote here on YouTube, then do give us an email. The link is in the description box below. If you like what you've seen, don't forget to give us a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell and the subscribe button so you get notified of all future videos. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to check us out on TikTok as well, at Elliot and Matt. But for now, from us and here in Lawley, mwah, to you all, and, and goodbye. goodbye.